Hi, I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to go into the Miriam Joy vault and pull out some of my Christmas videos that I think you really enjoy. Let's get started. Joy and welcome to my studio. We're going to be working on our red reindeer vase today and I couldn't let the holiday season go by without doing one alcohol ink vase and I just love how it looks. Check out the ones I did last year. I did several of them including some blue ones with uh, snowflakes which are really really pretty. <coughs> they also teach you how to make the snowflakes with the glue gun. But this is a two pack that was really, really popular this year and I thought they were really elegant and I wanted a vase that would go with them and of course I picked this up at the Dollar Tree as well as the tall um, vase here and they usually have these most of the time, cylinder vase. And the first thing we're going to do is remove the tag off the bottom and you can use that to do that with your heat gun or soak it with warm water in the sink I think actually works a little bit better and then we're going to prep it to use the alcohol inks we're going to do that by spraying it and wiping it down with alcohol I keep my alcohol in a spray bottle that way when I need it I've got it right there at my fingertips and this just gets it all nice and ready and clean so the alcohol goes on better ah, stinky too all right, so we've got that all done. And I'm going to be using the red pepper alcohol ink and the gold. And I'm kind of going to do a drip method today. And you can find your, these are Adirondack by Ranger. And you can find them in a three pack in your scrapbook section. Or if you can't find them there, you want certain colors or anything like that, go to bluewillarts.com. And also, if you're at any of the craft shows where the Briscoes are at, Giraffes Laugh, they also have a great selection. And Bob Briscoe is the king of alcohol uh, dripping here. And I just went and picked up my cotton swab. This is a round makeup cotton swab. And the first thing I'm going to do is put a base layer on. And the alcohol really absorbs up. So what we're doing is we're going to do a complete base coat. So if we don't get a color dripped down, it's not going to show. We're going to have red there anyway. And just put that on. It's okay if it's not nice and even. We're going to come back over it and drip anywhere. You just want to make sure like the top and the bottoms, you have them all kind of covered real well. Sometimes going over it before it dries just makes it messier. And I've just really messed that top up instead of smoothed it out. So let it dry and then just put that on. That's okay because we're just going to drip it anyway. And I'm going to do it in three kind of layers here. And I'm going to go around the rim at top and we're going to get some longer drips in here. We want these to go more towards the bottom so we're going to squeeze down a little bit on our ink bottle and again this is red pepper. This is my favorite red. I think it's one of the brightest reds. Okay so if we want that to go a little bit more you can go back into those and add a little bit more into it so it drips further down towards the bottom on some of my other videos I did last year I went around and around and just using one color with the alcohol inks is amazing the effect you'll get and you will not get this effect with the other stamping inks just only the alcohol inks well that we're gonna give that a minute here. And I'm gonna come in and set it with my heat gun. 
It's also going to help set that layer. Look how pretty that already is. I don't quite like the greens as well as the reds for Christmas colors, but the blue and the silver is really gorgeous too. I really like that a lot. So take a look at the videos from last year, especially the snowflake one. It's really pretty. Now I'm going to do the second layer and I want it to come down not as far as our last layer, more towards the middle of our vase. Still squeezing it a little bit. So we're getting, now you can see where we've been and it's starting to get that build up which is really cool. I want it to go just a little bit longer on some of those and the other ones are perfect. We'll get some there, maybe a little bit more there. That's really good. That's looking good. Can you tell I like to work with the alcohol inks? They work on foil. I did a poinsettia foil this year, foil poinsettia, and put the alcohol inks to color it. It really turned out really pretty, so check that out. But there's a lot of things you can do with the alcohol inks. I just really like working with them. Now this last row, we're not even going to squeeze it. We're just going to kind of let it run out. I just all the way around the top, get that top rim, just barely tapping it and just letting it run on its own. So we're getting that near the top. This is going to be our last red one, then we're going to put a little bit of gold on it here. This is my last Christmas video of the season. Yay! I'm a happy girl. I think this next year we're going to try and do a Christmas video a month so I don't have so many at the end of the year. And that way you can do them during the season if they're not products to buy. Or buy them up for the next season. That's when I buy a lot of mine when they go on sale. And I'm going to talk to you about some of the Christmas ornaments I'm going to use in the springtime for vases as well. So get you thinking about that. Alright, so I'm going to come in with my gold now. If they have a three pack, the gold and the silver are together. And the gold's a lot thicker, so it's got a marble in it to shake it. So it's not going to drip as far, and I don't want this to drip as far. I want to kind of get the icicle look. So think if you were doing the blue and silver and you did just the silver, how pretty that would look. I want just enough that it's going to drip and come down a little ways here. Of course, I know I'm working on the back, so I'll try and come around a little bit here, but it's hard because I can't see what I am doing. There's also a pearl color and a copper color are really would be really pretty too. The pearl kind of makes it iridescent. So we don't want this to run too far down. We want it just to run just enough to start running. If you've got any little spots, come back and get them. Got the ones that's going to take off on me there, but that's okay. And you can see how much thicker it is. It's a really pretty color. And I, on this vase, there's a rim kind of up underneath, so I'm kind of hitting up underneath that rim. I'm not quite on top of that rim. I don't want those to be real even, so I'm going to go back and put, I'm making them too even. So I'm going to come up around the corner here. We're almost done. Get one more run right there. All right, isn't that really pretty? And that's going to really accent our reindeer. And like I said, I picked these up at Dollar Tree. I really like these. I'm going to switch out for one I've already got working on here. I've already got it all heat set. So I wanted to find a ribbon that would kind of accent it, but wouldn't um, take away from the, the vase itself. And actually I'm looking for a spot that I don't think is quite as pretty because we're going to cover that up. And I'm going to use a ribbon that's a little bit sparkly but doesn't take away from the vase and I want it just big enough piece that it meets around and I need to take my gloves off on the other side 
And I always take my gloves off. I put that in there, put that in there, and then you can go throw them away. All right, so I'm just going to meet this up, and then I'm going to glue it on. So you could also hold it in place with a little bit of hot glue until you got it all the way around as well. And I'll, once we get this ribbon on, I'll move it around to the front so you can see it. I needed to get a little bit tighter, but I didn't. Now we're going to cover this ribbon up with our deer. And I'm going to do on the top of the ribbon. And the ribbon is what is going to anchor it. And I probably should have moved that down just a tad. Put him right there. Let's put his glue on. Now he's not going to hit the whole way through, so just put him in the middle where he is going to sit. You also could put a tad of E6000 on there if you wanted to make it just a little bit more secure. We're going to squish that on so it covers up our ribbon. And there is our vase. And won't that look really pretty? That would be pretty with some holly or different items as well. Now I want to talk to you about some different vases. I found this green vase at the dollar store. And I would love to just put a red ribbon around it and one of these little reindeer and glue that on. And I think that would be a really cute hostess gift. I got all of these little ones at the 99 cent store or the dollar tree or some of your dollar stores have the different designs in them and this was in a pack of five so look how beautiful that looks and how how well that just really makes a, a beautiful base and with the red ribbon it would be really pretty probably one about that thick but think about things else that you could use I had some Christmas tree and some snowflakes I've got some silver reindeer which would be beautiful with the blues I do blues and purples and stuff on my Christmas tree but they had some snowflakes and some dragonflies <coughs> and I forgot to bring my clear vase with me but I want you to think about how they would be on the clear vase and I want to use them in the springtime for Easter and different things like that and come back and use my alcohol inks and use those so if you find those pick those up and think about other things besides just Christmas but this is just a fun little vase I love doing the alcohol inks I love decorating the vases especially it's just one of my favorite things to do because for less than a little over a dollar by the time you get all your costs maybe two dollars you have a beautiful beautiful vase that looks like you've spent you know quite a bit on it so they're just a lot of fun and I think they're really beautiful make great hostess gifts during the holidays so if you have any questions about today's project or where we can find things please email me at art at miriamjoy.com don't forget we found the alcohol inks at blue well arts or the briscoes at giraffe laugh bob and sherry this has been a great holiday season. I've had a lot of fun making everything for you. Jump on over to Facebook. We're having some wonderful contests. We've always got something new going on every day to show you and inspire you at Miriam Joy Gore Christians. Have a merry, merry Christmas and God bless.